My name is Maria Clementina. I also go by Maria, aka Pink Hooper. And what's good, everybody? Welcome to you, my YouTube channel. I'm sorry, I stutter. I have a bad, you know. Blah, 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 blah. This is like take. I don't know, but besides the point, this is my YouTube channel. I've like delayed on it for like months more like years because I just didn't know like what I wanted to talk about if I felt like I wanted to expand myself that more but as a model I realized that you know sometimes you just got to be open you got to be able to talk you got to be able to let the world you know be nosy sadly but besides the point this is my YouTube channel. I'm going to be talking about personal life stories, doing makeup tutorials, even though y'all can see I'm not really the best on makeup. I try to do like a natural beat, I guess. I, I have oily skin, as you could tell, but but that's besides the point. I'm pretty much going to be doing like get ready with me's for like photo shoots behind the scenes for photo shoots story time because when i say your girl been through it i've been through it because you know like your girl been through everything and we got some stories to share with you some stories my first YouTube video, I'm just going to do like a get to know me because a lot of y'all don't know me. And even though if you think you know me, you don't. I, I post stuff and, you know, people think they know me, but they don't. I just share what I feel like I want to share or what I feel like the world should like know about me, I guess. Or like what I feel like I agree to. My social media, I usually post stuff. I post a lot of quotes and stuff. I've gotten in trouble for quotes, I guess, in my life. But it's really just things I agree to, things that I've seen happen to not just me, friends, family, and stuff. And I'm like, yes, yes. You know, you're not alone. When you read it, sometimes you feel like, dang, I'm not alone. There's someone out there that actually goes. That's actually, like, you know, growing. Ugh. See, I told y'all I'm going to be stuttering a lot. But I ain't going to do a lot of editing because I'm going to let y'all get into the real me. But besides that, yeah, so pretty much just stick. Yeah. Okay, just subscribe. Hit the like button. You can hit the dislike button because I know the way I talk. I'm not a really good person to like express what's on my mind i be like thinking a lot and then by the time it comes from my brain works its way to my mouth sometimes it don't sound right but it's pretty much just my first round to doing this you know talking openly to a camera that i'm going to like share to like millions of people out there you know but yeah oh that's what we say now as you can tell, I like Snapchat. Just for the filter, you know? Who doesn't like that? So, I want to, like, start off by saying Happy Thanksgiving. Because, ooh. Okay, this is, like, take 100. <laughs> but I just want to start off by saying Merry Christmas to everybody. Oh, happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, happy holidays, happy December 25th, whatever you want to call today. Have a happy day. I wrote on this little ticket I had what I want to say so I won't ramble a lot because I realized from the first half of the video I was really like rambling. But it's only because I was trying to get my thoughts together and everything. And I told y'all I am not editing. I am not cutting. I'm keeping this as raw as possible. Okay. But for starters, I just want to let you guys know again, my name is Maria Clementina Kemagisha Teresa Rutiuga. And yes, that is my full name. It's on my birth certificate. Teresa I got 
when I'm Catholic, so that's my confirmation name, and I chose it other after Mother Teresa. And also, I'm glad I chose Teresa to be my confirmation name because that's also my grandmother's name, and my grandmother passed January 14th, 2012. So I'm glad that I have a name just to remember her as well. But besides that, I am 21. 21? Okay. And I'm forever gonna be 21 because I've always waited to be this age so people could stop saying like, oh, you're such a baby, oh, you're so young, da da da. Cause I've been grown since I came out the womb, okay? Since August 25th, 1997. I brought color to this world, all right? All right. But anyways, I am from, I was born in Baltimore, Maryland at St. Joseph's Hospital yeah my parents lived in pg maryland so that's where i was raised and but yeah we lived in pg maryland for almost all my life till i graduated from high school i already decided like i got to leave maryland like i know too many people around here i've been around the same people for da -da 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 -da, 16 years that i wouldn't even count elementary well i count elementary from like first grade but before first grade i wasn't around the same people i had like a lot of family members that i was around but talking about family let's get into my parents so my mother's name is evelyn and my dad's name is john and i'm maria we all got simple names you know and they're from tanzania and i love my parents to death i'm gonna show you guys a video of them like right there <laughs> but yeah those are my parents and they've raised me to be i think the most perfect girl 99.9% .9 perfect because you know no one's perfect and they raised me to be caring and having like elderly parents my mom is 57 my dad's 87 it just it's a different light like you see the world differently i was raised to be like you know, I don't know how, what's the specific word for it, but I look at life differently compared to a lot of people my age or like around my age because a lot of people have stuff given to them. I was raised to work for everything that I get. And school is always first, like, if I ain't get no 100%, I, I gotta go back. You know what I'm saying? Bees were not allowed in my house. <laughs> well, my parents' house, bees were not allowed at all. So it like made me hold myself at a higher standard, you know, just with everything in life. And yeah, I love them. But to not keep y'all wrapped. Oh, before I forget, I just wanted to like throw out a little detail to like anybody out there that's parents. Not to tell y'all how to be a parent or like certain parents aren't perfect. But a problem that I realized with like kids who were raised the way I was is that we come with a lot of depression and anxiety problems. Just because we were always raised to like hold ourselves higher, to always be perfect, never fail. When you fail, it was like the biggest thing in the world. But I just want parents to like encourage their children that it's okay to fail. It's okay to like do something bad. We're not supposed to be perfect. Like you're supposed to learn from your mistakes, you know? And if you like, are always built in like a world where you can't have a mistake when you go into the real world and you start having mistakes and stuff it's going to like really tear you down and that's something that i had to learn over the years to like not always hold myself so high you know not trying to like it's good to hold yourself high but like be moderate okay? so i'm apologize now because i know like this is like the third time i like switched my look but it's like a Another day, I promise you guys. I've been really, really busy. I could never like finish a whole video in one day. But to get back to the point, um, next question was like, where am I from? I was born in Baltimore, Maryland at St. Joseph's Hospital. And I lived in PG, Maryland all the way until like I got into high school. And I went to Northwestern High School, home of the Wildcats, graduated class of 2015. And that's when I made a decision that, do I want to stay in Maryland or do I want to get out of state? And I had to get away from Maryland. Like, I was just like, I know way too many people around here. I've been around the same people for years. It's time for a change, you know? 
So I chose to go to Virginia Union University. It was like all the way in Richmond, Virginia. It was a two hour drive from home. And I was like, my parents will never make this drive to come see me. You know, I could start fresh, don't nobody know me, you know. And I liked it. Like I actually kind of stood out my freshman year because as you see, I got bright red hair. I actually had like bright red faux locks. College was college. That's story time for another day. Anyways, I got my name Pink Hooper in high school, actually. So, it was my Instagram name for the longest. Like, I played basketball. My favorite. So my name was Pink Hooper. I came with, like, pink lipstick to, like, tryouts to basketball. Tryouts for the basketball team or whatever. I always had nails on, my eyebrows done, all that, you know. This, that, and the third. But, anyways, I used to model when I was younger. Only because I was tall. Like... I didn't like playing sports so that back then I was like modeling or whatever. I was in Miss Tanzania USA pageant and different like fashion shows and stuff for different designers. But I never took it really seriously until January of 2018. And yeah, January of 2018, I pretty much was like, you know, I had a long 2017, let's just say that. And I was like, I need to do something better for myself. I've always focused on helping others. I've helped previous friends and it got my back stabbed. I've helped previous boyfriends and got my back stabbed. Stab, stab, stab. <laughs> so I was like, why am I not focusing on stuff to make me happy? Like goals that I've always wanted to do, I need to achieve. I was like, I need to start hitting them. Like. I was about to turn 21. I was like, I can't turn 21 and not have something with my life. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, let me pick back up modeling. You know, I'm still tall. I was still skinny at that moment when I started. So, you know, I was at look, I guess. And I was bald. You know, everybody was looking for bald girls to take pictures of and stuff. But I liked it. I really, really liked yeah. it. After I like saw my first photo shoot pictures i had went to a directory code um can't think of the name right now but it was like a photo meetup boom 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 meetup and we like took pictures indoors and outdoors and i got to take pictures with like different photographers i got to meet other models and everything and it was lovely like it just helped me like it was that spark to like all right, I got to take this seriously. I got to do what I got to do in order to get more pictures, you know, keep connections and everything because I wanted to start building my portfolio. And every time I took a picture, it was just like, I felt happy. I was able to create something. I was able to do something different, look different. Because as you see, this is actually me on a regular day. I look rough. Like I always be looking rough. So it's a day I can look cute. I don't get cute for like parties really or like for other people. So like another fact about me is that I am single. Single like a dollar bill and not looking for change. I'm serious. <laughs> and, um, and the last thing I'm going to talk about is future plans. So I have a lot of future plans and I don't like jinxing a lot of stuff. But something that I do like want to take seriously is graduate from college because I, w I had a minor setback, but I got over it now. Like everybody graduates in their own time. I don't, I'm not pressed to graduate in four years anymore. I'm taking my time. Uh, another future plan of mine is I want to be able to like grow as a model and be able to like network more outside of the DMV. That's all there is to know about me, really. Like, any other questions you guys have, you know, just add it to the comments. Or follow me on Instagram, DM me, message me, anything. Like, tell me stuff you would like to know about me, want me to talk about and stuff. Like, I'm ready to be open, because what's the hide, you know? And... I guess I'm a, uh, I was going to give a story time at the end of this, but I feel like this video is already long enough. So, wait on the next one. Haha, <laughs> that go make y'all watch the next one because that's when I'm going to put story time.